Hello students, I'm Mr. Williams, the librarian at Atlantis University. Today I'd like to cover the wonderful resources that you have available to you through your online library, um, as well as through um, the interlibrary loan agreement with Kaiser University. Um, to begin, um, we're going to, to uh, start in with the segment on the online library today. Um, and in order to access the, the online resources for the library, you're going to want to log into your online classroom. And I'm going to just log in here. The virtual library tab appears across the gray bar um, at the top portion of the screen. And when you see the virtual library um, tab, you can click the down, the drop down arrow on it and select either English or Spanish resources. In this case, we're going to select the English resources. And when you do that, you will shortly see that the Library Information Resource Network um, resources for Atlantis University um, appear on your screen. And you'll see the Atlantis University logo um, and a little welcome message from Atlantis University. Um, you can sort of scroll down and you'll see that there are resources from Gale InfoTrack, um, from ProQuest, and as you scroll down the screen a bit further, Credo Reference, eLibrary, uh, Bowker's Books in Print, and RCL Web, as well as various internet resources that are available, um, including the Directory of Open Access Journals, um, the Internet Public Library, PubMed and EBSCO hosts um, database for librarians. Um, and so with that, we want to get started on how to go ahead and do a search. Now, the first thing I'd like to point out is that if you click on the Connect to InfoTrack, you will see a whole list of databases that appear on your screen. And it's important to realize that this list is, each one of these little items is, is another database. Um, the nice thing about the Learn resources is that rather than having to go in and search all of these databases one by one, you can do what is called a federated search, which actually searches all of these databases simultaneously and saves you an enormous amount of time. Now, if you choose to, to select all items on this screen, you can search all of these items from within the InfoTrack databases and search only the InfoTrack databases. However, if we go back by clicking the Return to Library tab, we want to first point out that ProQuest also has a number of databases in it, as does the Credo Reference and the eLibrary and Bowker's Books and Prints and so forth. So rather than just search only the InfoTrack databases with a federated search, we can choose to search all of the InfoTrack databases, all of the ProQuest databases, all of the Credo Reference databases, all of the Bowker Books and Prints databases with one search. And we do that by clicking up here in the upper right hand corner of the Library Information Resource Network page um, next to the hot air balloon that has the LIRN logo on it and it'll say Learn Search. Um, and if we click here, we can then do a search for material and search all of these databases with one search. Now, I guess what we'll try to focus on today will be, uh, let's try a business. Uh, just search for business as a subject and the results come in, and at this point we have um, a list that is the number of search results is actually changing as I speak, but um, currently we're at over 86,000 search results. So the nice thing about the list is it will tell you that each of the databases here, like the Criminal Justice e-collection, has 613,000 um, 312 results, and the newsletter ASAP database has 448,393 results. So 
we can actually go to each database one by one and look at the top 10 results from each database just by clicking on that database and it then the um, computer will bring up the first 10 results from each database that you can scroll down through.